What is up my planting people? My name is Lithius and welcome to Roots Ready. This is a series all about plant care where I will be taking you through to look at some of the plants that I have in my collection and giving you tips and tricks on how to care for them. Now all of these tips are based on my own personal experience as well as research that I have done to ensure that I can provide these plants with the best environment to promote their growth. Today we will be looking at and celebrating the sickleman. This plant is often overlooked and I don't know why. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and unlike a lot of plants that we care for in our homes. It has an almost perfect heart shaped leaf with white veins that kind of run through it and some silver speckling that's just, you know, throughout the whole plant. It's just absolutely beautiful. The flowers are beautiful but unusual at the same time. Um, they do tend to grow upside down. So they kind of grow uh, facing downwards in a spiral and then as it opens up, it unfurls and the, the petals point upwards. Absolutely beautiful. This plant is unique as in it actually flowers from autumn or fall um, and through to winter and it tends to die back and lose its leaves some of the leaves um, during the spring and summer months so if you're looking for something a little bit different and a little bit in contrast to other plants that we might have in our collections that might go dormant then this is the plant for you also it is extremely extremely affordable this plant I purchased at around three pounds so, and since I've had it, it has grown tremendously, given me a lot of growth, and I really do appreciate this plant for that. So this plant is native to Europe, and that tells us a lot about the care requirements for this plant. The sickleman prefers bright, indirect light, and I actually have mine growing right up against an east-facing window, so it gets a lot of morning light. However, when this plant is dormant, which is during the spring and summer months, you want to put this plant in a cooler, darker spot with really, really good air circulation. This plant prefers organic soil mixes that is well draining. You should only water this plant when the top inch of soil is dry. So when you're watering this plant, you want to be careful not to water the crown, the leaves or the flowers, um, just because this plant is prone to fungal and bacterial infections. I personally tend to bottom water my plant and I think it absolutely loves that. Um, and that just ensures that the leaves don't get wet at all. So typically I am watering this plant about once or twice a week depending on how quickly the soil dries out. Now during the spring and summer months you want to water this plant less frequently only ensuring that the soil does not get entirely dry. This plant loves 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 humidity so ensure that it has plenty of it when you finally decide where you're going to place this plant. So as we said before this plant does originate from Europe so that means it can withstand cooler temperatures but not that much cooler so ensure that you're keeping this plant between 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 22 degrees Celsius I personally give this plant a well balanced fertilizer um, it is recommended however that you do provide it with something that is a little bit lower in nitrogen but I just provide it with whatever I have I think it works fine as well I've seen no changes no negative effects of that um, but you want to give it a diluted um, solution every other time you water it. This plant does prefer to be root bound, so ensure that you repot this plant every two to three years. The flowers on this plant are very short lived. I personally find that they last maybe a week, two weeks, three weeks maximum before they start to wither and die. Uh, but never mind, when you're pruning this plant, what you want to do is just grab the stem um, at the base and just give it a twist and a pull and it comes away very very easily um, and that just helps you to have a beautiful plant that is healthy on the top um, but that doesn't harm the the aesthetic of this plant at all because as you find that during the growing season it's always pushing out some new growth right there in the center unfortunately this plant is toxic so ensure that you keep it away from pets and children well that was it guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this plant i personally think that it is a wonderful wonderful addition to my personal indoor jungle 
um, and it just adds an amazing pop of color um, and it's also cheap and cheerful if you're considering getting this plant then let me know in the comments below um, if you have any questions also shoot them down there and I'll get back to you if you enjoyed this video then please hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel or following my Instagram page at Roots Ready to stay up to date thank you so much and keep planting